I want my LA River to be clean, safe, and accessible. I've lived in the area for 21 years, so when Rattlesnake Park first opened, I began walking the river. Uh, that was back in the early 90s. So I've been enjoying the river environment just as a constituent for many, many years. My personal kind of blends with the professional at this point in terms of just how I hang out here, I ride my bike, I come here uh, to the parks and enjoy it. Uh, and uh, it's a very exciting place to be. For 10 years, I worked on issues here at the river. I worked on the revitalization master plan. I worked on the bike and walking trail for seven years and we dedicated that in December of 2010. Uh, and several river parks. I would envision uh, a riverfront district involving the constituents here in terms of putting the vision together and I know that that's what you're doing and that's a great thing. Um, I would envision that it is a place where people feel really great about coming to uh, because right here at the urban core of Los Angeles they can come to a place and enjoy a natural habitat so it would involve uh, restoration of their riparian habitat uh, and a real gathering spot and a destination place uh, from, for people to visit, but also a wonderful place for people who live here. We're gonna get a new pedestrian bridge in Atwater Village just north of here, and it's, it's south of the Hyperion Bridge. The Hyperion Bridge, uh, which connects Silver Lake with Atwater Village, is about to get uh, seismically retrofitted. But as, a, uh, as a, a, a community benefit of that, we're gonna build a new footpath so people can safely cross the river at its most beautiful juncture, south of the Hyperion Bridge. So I'm very excited about that. So I envision a place here at the river where we can uh, bring people safely across the river at different points all up and down so that we can increase circulation on both sides of the river, build more pathways on both sides, and even a horse trail from uh, Griffith Park and North Atwater Village where the equestrian center is. We can really bring the river back to life on its banks and right inside it with the kayaking and canoeing uh, and really have a, a destination place for recreation. And when any community improves, there's always a trade-off. And I've been talking to constituents in Elysian Valley for months. And everyone knows that change is coming, uh, but we just have to make sure that it's the right kind of change that, that people who live here and have a stake in the community can help shape. Uh, but everyone knows that it's going to be for the better. We just have to make sure that we plan ahead, that everything we do is in, in consideration and with sensitivity uh, toward the residents and businesses here. But I know we're going to do that uh, because that's how, we've, uh, that's how we've really begun to, to carry things forward here. I would like to see all of the trapezoidal channels on both sides eventually become more naturalistic. So. I love the long-term vision of modifying the channel in ways that bring people to the river more safely, but also um, change the look and feel so we get away from this trapezoidal channel and then the flat part. So I, I'm looking for infrastructure changes that can accommodate the great floods because they're still going to come occasionally, but also uh, during the vast majority of time when it's not flooding that gets people here so we can enjoy it to a larger extent.